hey here's another update for you so in this update i want to look at campaigns i saw that there's a different way for sending campaigns although the process is still the same and everything you've learned should be able to guide you through how to do it right even without watching this update video now also on the home page once you log in i see that there were some changes so if you come down and you check you'll see that there are different things here you can check your statistics your metrics how your lists are growing you can also see how your campaigns are doing if you sent any campaigns you can see how your campaigns are doing down here and of course for you to see more about all this this charts and data you'll just come into reports but we're not going to look at that right now in this video i want us to look at campaigns and just see what has changed so if I come here into campaigns let's say that i want to send a new campaign if i want to send a new campaign the process is still the same i'll just come here and click on create a new campaign or if i want to reuse an older campaign i can just come here and click on replicate and this will duplicate this campaign for me and i can reuse it but i want to show you how to start from zero and that is create a campaign so i'll click on create campaign and then i'll give it an m let's say update campaign and then campaign type so this is one of the changes for this used to go to a new page but now you can just do the selection here so you know we are sending a regular campaign let's do a regular campaign so i'll just choose regular and then say create and then you choose the list who do you want to send to choose a list you can see i have lots of sample lists here which i use for tutorials uh let me say let me say that i want to send to this list and in this list i can also send it to a pre-built segment if i already have a segment for this list i'll just choose there and the names of the segments that i have will be here but since i don't have any i have the possibility to create one and i also have the possibility to just go ahead and create one so you can build your segment and if you look at the segmentation section you'll see how to create a segment so you can choose the new segment if you want them to be sent to particular people in your list but you don't want it sent sent to everyone else you can create a segment but in this case let's say i want to send it to the entire list if you want to send it to the entire list i will just come here and click next and then the next place the next part let's add the campaign details like email subject what do you want them to see hey there so whatever you want to to be your subject just type that there and you can also add the smiley faces so maybe we can use one of these and then you'll put your name the from name and then you can also put your address right there then tracking you can auto tweet if you connect to twitter you can add this so that once you send the campaign it will automatically be tweeted that you sent a campaign and people will be able to click on it and go and view the public the public site for the campaign so you auto convert so if you have video content if you have video content you can add this option i don't have any video in the template that i want to send so it doesn't really matter and then you can auto post to facebook my facebook is already connected and i showed you how to connect this in the video when i was setting up a form on facebook and then you can track these clicks if you want to track them just click on them if you have e-commerce to track this is mostly if you've already if you're using the paid mailchimp one of the one of the paid plans you can connect your mailchimp to your site your e-commerce site and track things so maybe you want to use a first name just click there and use the first name or whichever you want to use if they have a surname in your list you can use the merge tag for that and then just click next and then in the next part you choose your template since you already have saved templates i can choose one of my saved templates or you can create a new one from any of these options 
but I will choose saved templates and I will choose this one. So if I select this one, you remember how we created these templates and you can go and watch how we did that. And then of course it gives you the option of editing your template. So if you want to edit your template, this is just a sample template. And uh, if you want to edit it, you can just edit. You can add content this side. You can edit any of the things that are in here. I don't want to edit anything. I'll just go next. Now the next phase is review. You have to review and see if there's any errors, because if there are errors, if any of this is read, your campaign won't be able to send. So this is just a warning. I didn't connect this, but this will not affect the sendability of my campaign. Everything seems to be okay. So I can just say next, I can send or I can schedule this campaign so that I can send it at a particular time later on, but I want to send it now. So I will just say send and then I'll click on send now. Our campaign has been sent. And if you want to track the performance of your email campaign, you can just go here and track the performance in reports, or you can share the campaign. If you go to this link, you'll see your, you'll see your public facing campaign on a browser. You can track the performance in a mobile app. If you have the MailChimp mobile app, or you can track performance in reports. If I click on reports, it will take me to the campaign whereby I will be able to know whether people have opened, clicked some links or the email just bounced. So if I see here, you can see 000 because I haven't opened it and I'm using sample email addresses. So if anyone clicks anything, it will show you clicked there opened it will show you the number of people who have opened and you can also change the campaign that you want to check the reports for now if i want to check reports for a different campaign i can always click and this will load the data for that particular campaign so that's it for this video if you have any questions make sure you let me know i will see you next time